I, this is another thing I'm getting older too. I had to wear long sleeves to visit my family because uh, it was a bruise on my arm because the lady bit me. <laughs> yeah, it, that's sex. She did it. It, was a, it wasn't like a train incident. It was with passion. Here's what happened. We were, uh, it was our second date, so I thought I knew her. And I thought I had a good grasp. And she goes, she goes, you wanna come back to my place? And I was like, yeah, like real cool, yeah. And she goes, just so you know, I like rough sex. And I was like, I love rough sex. And I don't like rough sex. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I hate it. Yeah, I, my first thought when she said it, I was like, all right, rough sex, so like no music. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be rough. I can power through without Drake. I've done it before. Yeah, that's the thing I found. I lit candles and I put music on and she walked in my room and was like, are you sacrificing me? What's happening? She bit me. Really hard. I didn't like it. And there's nothing more emasculating. I'll never forget. There's nothing more emasculating than when you stop having sex to go, hey, ow, like that. <laughs> It's, it was not just the owl, it was the hay that really made it. Hey, no. What the heck even? I just don't need it, man. Like any of that stuff where you're hurting, I just want to have sex the old fashioned, like just hope everyone has fun and no one gets hurt. She tried choking me after I told her don't bite me. She just went to choking, like that's better. I don't know what prompted it. Was I breathing too well for you? Ugh. And I hated it, she just went for it. I didn't like it, so I told her to stop. And then she did. And then she asked me to do it to her in her sex voice, in that voice you gotta have for sex. You know it, everyone here turns this little goblin on inside them. <laughs> you have to, you gotta do that. You can't bring your out and about voice to the table when you're having sex. She's like, hey, how are we? Jesus. <laughs> nope, I didn't know I was walking into a Walmart, dude. I don't need it, I don't need anything. I had a girlfriend with nipple rings too. I liked them, I didn't mind them, but she accused me of dating her because of them. She's like, you're only dating me because I have nipple rings. It blew my mind that she thinks that's a prerequisite for someone, that there's a guy out there that's gonna lift the shirt of a girl and be like, ugh, plain. Just gonna show up to my house with plain ass titties like that. How dare you, put them away. Oh, I can't, no. Not without ornaments. Not without some pageantry. I gotta leave, I'll tell you guys this last thing. I went through a breakup right before I moved. I moved a year ago. Me and my girlfriend broke up. We were together for six months, not a long time. This is how we broke up. Because she brought me to brunch to tell me for the past two years she'd been making eight grand a month as a sugar baby in Chicago. You guys know what that is? Good for you. I didn't. <laughs> I was just like, yeah, okay, keep that job, whatever it is. <laughs> and she explained to me what it was. She gets money to be a girlfriend to an old guy, two different old guys. Like, All right, whatever, dude. Can anybody, can anybody do this? <laughs> She's like, you gotta be pretty. And I'm like, can anybody do this? And then she's like, no. And then she walked me through a process. She was like, I'll stay together and I'll walk you through it. She did. She goes, what happens is I meet a client online and we meet in person. And we go over my list of don'ts, my no list. Okay, it's gonna be a fun little list. What's number one? She goes, number one, no anal. I'm like, totally, that's where you start the list. Holy shit. Whoa, whoa. That's, but at the same time, that's a pretty good place to start a list. Like, I'm gonna start all my list that way from here on out just to play safe in Chicago, you know? Like, even if it's grocery, -related, even, I'm gonna put it above eggs, man. So if that happens to me at Whole Foods, because I didn't write it down, ugh, ruin my day. Number two, what's number two? She goes, no water sports. 
And I'm like, really? And she goes, yeah, do you know what that means? I go, I think so. And she goes, it's peeing on each other. And I'm like, I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> oh boy, really? Ooh. I just thought your deal breakers were butt stuff and jet skis or something fun. <laughs> or it wasn't. We broke up. We broke up because I felt dirty the whole relationship because she'd been buying me things and I thought it was her money, but it wasn't. It was his money. So I was just a sugar grandbaby <laughs> this whole time. You guys, thank you very much.